the historic Cowtown Coliseum, next to Billy Bob's Texas, in the heart of the Fort Worth Stockyards. It's Power Pro Wrestling. 60 minutes of the wildest action in professional wrestling, featuring the stars of the Universal Wrestling Federation. The one-man gang with a forfeit victory over Terry Gordy. That match is being protested by the Freebirds, but to no avail. One-man gang is the new UWF heavyweight champion. Slam by Jack, and now the lateral press. And Michael Hayes just slaps him out of Jack. What a humiliating thing. Hayes is even more demented than he was. And now Taylor chasing Hayes, and there's a fight on the floor with Taylor and Hayes. Savannah Jack, the new television champion with his patented soul kick. Savannah Jack is going to be a people's champion. The new universal television champion is Savannah Jack. There's a tag. It comes Hollywood John Tatum. Tatum with right hands. Slowing down one off Bill Irwin. It's the elbow by Tatum. And now the champions are back on the offensive. Reversal by Wild Bill Irwin. And it's Irwin with that boot. The controversial boot. And right to the head of Hollywood John Tatum. The championship's on the line here on Universal Wrestling. The crowd here at the Tulsa Convention Center. A big crowd, but they're almost hushed. Who to root for? Tatum kicked right to the head by Irwin. And another kick. Hollywood John Tatum being severely punished by Wild Bill Irwin and those long rider boots, those leather boots that he wears. There's the tag. Tatum has been busted by Wild Bill Irwin. And now the big hammer, Leroy Brown. That's a 375 pound headbutt. Brown with the right hand. The challengers, it's almost like sharks. They can, they can taste the blood. They're going for the kill with a championship on the line. Another tag, and they've got Tatum trapped in their corner. Agbar is proving that he is the master strategist. Tatum, how much more can Tatum take? There's the tag. Backbreaker. Modified suplex, and what an elbow. Bad Leroy Brown was in the air at 375, and that's all. Devastation Incorporated. They walked right through the champions. Akbar massive. Devastation Incorporated. Reign Supreme and Tag Team Wrestling. 670 pounds combined weight. Bad Leroy Brown and Wild Bill Irwin. They're awesome tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Three new champions in the Universal Wrestling Federation. As I mentioned at the top of the hour, this program headlined by the battle for the Universal Heavyweight Championship. The one-man gang will defend the title against Ted DiBiase, General Skandar Akbar here with a few comments. It was perfectly clear that any negotiations regarding the UWF Championship, which comes through the Devastation Incorporated's headquarters. But evidently, that's not the case. But I will tell you and everybody else tonight that the one-man gang, the new UWF champion, will emphatically not defend his title on television against Ted DeBusey. Wait a second, General. Excuse me, sir. How the contracts have been signed, and you remember on the Universal Wrestling Federation, the one-man gang had a contract to wrestle Terry Gordy. Terry Gordy was unable to wrestle. The match was a forfeit victory for the one-man gang. I'll say this, in all fairness, there's one set of rules. The gang will defend the title here this evening the way that I understand it, or he will be stripped of the title right here tonight, and Ted DiBiase will be the new champion. All right. So you've given me an ultimatum. Well, I'm going to give you people an ultimatum. You, UWF, 
anybody that's listening out in television land, I'm not going to be responsible for anything that the one-man gang does to Ted DeBusey because I can guarantee you that your career is going to be over tonight, young man, because I'm angry and I'm upset when that happens, things are going to happen. Well, I can understand that. Akbar is right. Things do happen when the general gets upset, but there will be a UWF Heavyweight Championship match in this program, and you're going to see the new Tag Team Champions right after this. Time out. Our first event, one fall, a 10-minute time limit. Introducing from Dallas, 231 pounds, Jeff Rates. And from Vicksburg, Mississippi, 223 pounds, Ken Massey. General Skandar Akbar presents to you the new Universal Tag Team Champions from Devastation Incorporated, a combined weight over 670 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Bad Leroy Brown and Wild Bill Irwin. Jack Curtis State, over 670 pounds combined weight. Bad Leroy Brown and Wild Bill Irwin. And they complement each other's style extremely well. They're both veterans of the squared circle. And it's going to take one heck of a duo to dethrone the new Universal Tag Team Champions. And it's young Jeff Rates from Dallas, Texas, right here in the Metroplex, taking on Bad Leroy Brown, and you see Leroy, he is a monstrous man. Leroy light on his feet. Backing Jeff Rates into the ropes. Leroy Brown with a quick tag to Wild Bill Irwin. Irwin with a long rider style boots bearing it deep into the midsection of Jeff Rates here on Power Pro Wrestling for the Cowtown Coliseum. A chop by Irwin and Jeff Rates now, who is attempting to fight back gallantly, but really to no avail. Irwin with a knee right to the solar plexus of Jeff Rates, and Rates kicks out. A near fall for the awesome Universal Tag Team Champions, Bad Leroy Brown and Wild Bill Irwin. What I'm wondering is what team can match up with this big duo? Back bar on the outside. Leroy Brown using his bulk. Irwin was holding rates, and Brown, who weighs well over 375 pounds, Brown with that clubbing right forearm to the back of Jeff Rates. It's been all Jeff Rates for his team, and that's a mark of an excellent tag team combination, referring to Brown and Irwin. They have not allowed the freshman in the ring as of yet. Reversal by Rates. Rates, the shoulder tackle, football tackle to Brown. Bringing Brown out of the corner. And now there's the tag. Rates made the tag to Ken Massey. And Massey will get his introduction to Bad Leroy and Wild Bill Irwin. It's Irwin now in the ring. It's a tremendous program, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next. The Universal Heavyweight Championship has been signed. Ted DiBiase will challenge the one-man gang in this hour. Massey's neck just came crashing down over the top cable. Now there's another tag. Akbar's team is, their teamwork is expert clothesline by Wild, by Bad Leroy Brown. Excuse me, there's another tag. These big men really keep the tempo moving. And they tag in and out. Irwin with that foot right to the face of Massey. Been a lot of controversy surrounding those boots, but they are legal and they are devastating. Body slam by Irwin. The tag was made. High elbow by Leroy Brown. All 375 plus crashing down on Ken Massey. Devastation Incorporated. Ring Supreme and Tag Team Wrestling. Over 670 pounds, combined weight. The winner, Bad Leroy Brown and Wild Bill Irwin, and we'll be right back. The Universal Heavyweight Championship will be on the line when we return after this for Power Pro Wrestling.
Our next event, a four-man tag team bout, one fall, a 10-minute time limit. Introducing from St. Joe, Missouri, 255 pounds, Art Cruz. His partner from Libya, 280 pounds, the Libyan. The crowd roars its approval as we are family plays in the background here at the Cowtown Coliseum. Jim Ross back with you here on Power Pro Wrestling as Iceman King Parsons and Chavo Guerrero will take on Art Cruz and the Libyan. Ted DiBiase, carriage of the dressing room. I'll have more on that momentarily. Ladies and gentlemen, from St. Louis, 235 pounds, the Iceman King Parsons. His partner, 229 pounds from Fountain Valley, California, Chavo Guerrero. Take a look at popular Chavo Guerrero. Here on Power Pro Wrestling, Ted DiBiase was helped by several back to the dressing room. I understand they're taking him for medical attention as we speak. We'll try to have a report on that before the hour ends, if at all possible. If not, we'll have something on it for sure here next week here on Power Pro Wrestling. Chavo Guerrero and Iceman King Parsons. And I think you're going to see a lot of new teams here in the Universal Wrestling Federation. A lot of men are going to see how they operate together because everybody has their sights set as far as tag team wrestling is concerned on Akbar's giant team of Wild Bill Irwin and Bad Leroy Brown, the new Universal Tag Team Champions. I'd like to invite everyone to join us Thanksgiving night in the Superdome for the Popeye's Thanksgiving Superdome Extravaganza. Great seats are still available, and free discount coupons are available at all New Orleans area Popeye's. Tickets are on sale at all Ticketmaster outlets in the New Orleans area. As the big Libyan, 280. Back the Iceman from St. Louis, back into the ring. The Libyan with a attempted cheap shot and a big roundhouse, right? The Iceman saw it coming, and the Libyan not only missed, but his own momentum took him over the top rope all the way outside. I'd like to invite everyone to join us for our national television taping of Universal Wrestling tonight in Tulsa at the Convention Center starting at 7.30. Super hard tonight in Tulsa. And the next taping for Power Pro Wrestling one week from tomorrow night. That will be, of course, right here in Cowtown Coliseum starting at 7.30. Art Cruz in there now, and Iceman King Parsons, who I think really has found himself in the Universal Wrestling Federation. He's quicker, and you can see that right now with those beautiful arm drags, and a top kick by the Iceman, and another one. The Iceman is red hot. And the Libyan back in. Big, powerful man is the Libyan, the Iceman, with a snug side headlock. Over the top rope comes my friend Chavo Guerrero, who will be doing our color commentary here next week on the program. I always look forward to that. High elevation by the Libyan, but Chavo lands on his feet and right back up with a single leg pickup. Well, what an athlete this man is. 229 pounds from Fountain Valley, California. Chavo Guerrero and a tag made. Headbutt to the leg of the Libyan. Very unusual maneuver, but the Iceman is very proficient with the headbutt. Iceman setting to elevate the Libyan, but the Libyan with that kick right to the chest and now a right hand that has the Iceman a little wobbly there in the squared circle. Big forearms by the Libyan. Remember, he's 280. Flying mare. And now Art Cruz in. Cruz went right into the Libyan. Or excuse me, Iceman went right into the Libyan there. 
Art Cruz with the elbow. Cruz with the Libyan now, trying to get a victory here on Power of Pro Wrestling. Over the Iceman, Chavo Guerrero, another tag. Let's hand it to the Libyan and, and Cruz. They're tagging in and out very well. And that, that elbow caught the Iceman right in the jaw. The Libyan, as I mentioned, a big, powerful man at 280. With the elbow, and Iceman King Parsons is in trouble here. The Iceman with a quick kick out, no count there. Iceman with the left handed chop. He's a southpaw. And a headbutt. But down goes the Libyan. The Iceman now trying to make the tag. And the tag was made. Here comes Chavo Guerrero. Guerrero with drop kicks. Cruz coming in but going back out. It chops to the Libyan by Chavo Guerrero. Now the Iceman's in. And we've got all four men in this tag team contest in the ring. Chavo Guerrero with some butt kick. The Iceman with his maneuver, and there's a pinfall. Yes, sir, an impressive victory. And as Iceman says, it means that way sometimes. And we'll be back with more Power Pro Wrestling, Hollywood John Tatum, and Jack Victory in tag team action after this from the UWF. Ladies and gentlemen, our next event, a four-man tag team bout, one fall, a 10-minute time limit. Introducing a combined weight of over 480 pounds from Hollywood, California, Hollywood John Tatum and Jack Victory. Their opponents, 262 pounds from Kansas City, Jeff Gaylord. His partner from Houston, 250 pounds, Gary Young. Tag team action here on Power of Pro Wrestling, everybody. Thanks very much for being here with us. A lot more exciting action coming your way. The Angel of Death still to come in this hour, plus the big six-man elimination tag match. The Fantastics and the Missing Link take on Hot Step Eddie Gilbertstein and Rick Steiner. And the losing team's valet will be painted yellow in that matchup. More on that in the hour. Jack Victory and Gary Young starting it off for their respective teams here. And as I mentioned, a lot of teams gearing up for the challenge. And I mean, it's going to be a monumental and a big challenge to take the Universal Tag Team Championship belts away from Devastation Incorporated's Bad Leroy Brown and Wild Bill Irwin. Hollywood John Tatum and Jack Victory, the former champions. I know they're looking forward to their title opportunity as are the Fantastics, and we're attempting to sign a match between the Fantastics and Tatum and Victor here next week on Power Pro Wrestling. Gary Young showing his offensive brilliance here on Power Pro Wrestling and his strength as he is body slamming, and I mean slamming and jamming, the former champions Tatum and Victory. And the slams are effective enough, look at that, consoling each other. Gary Young and young Jeff Gaylord say, why not us for a title shot? Well, build the one loss record and, and there you are. That's, that's how you get those title matches, quite obviously. And right here on national television, here on Power Pro Wrestling, that is, of course, their objective. Jack Victory with a right hand and then the tag. Hollywood John Tatum was stinging right to the side of the face of Gary Young. Tatum and Victor, do not ever underestimate this team. High vertical suplex, the former tag team champion, who not only would love to have a match with the Fantastic to settle that issue, and I mean it is a personal situation. Double kick to the chest of Gary Young. Victory and Tatum showing their tag team expertise here on Power Pro Wrestling as they have controlled the tempo since Gary Young's flurry at the beginning of this contest. Young with a big right hand that's slowing down Jack Victory, but Victory right back to the attack with his own right hand. There's a tag now, Hollywood John Tatum coming in. 
Edwin Pop, the third man in the ring here on Power Pro Wrestling. Tatum trying to suplex Young, but Young reverses it. And Hollywood John is suplexed by Gary Young, the 250-pound native of Houston, Texas. And then comes Big Jeff Gaylord. Gaylord wants big rights. Now, he's a big man. He's 275. Gaylord and now Gary Young back in the action. Gaylord and Young certainly not intimidated at the status of the former tag team champion. And Gaylord is hammering Hollywood John Tatum in the corner. And Jack Victor, that cheap shot right to the back. Well, they know the shortcuts, don't they? Double clothesline! They've got the technique down. They'll take any shortcut, whatever it takes to win, and that's what they have done. Tatum and victory. Rising in the tag team ratings. Looking forward to a battle with a fantastic and a tag team rematch. And we'll be back with the Angel of Death against Jeffrey Jones of Oldie after this timeout. Our next event, ladies and gentlemen, one fall, a 10-minute time limit. Introducing to you, making his first appearance, six foot seven, 322 pounds from California with Sunshine and Freebird Bernie Roberts doing the managing, ladies and gentlemen, the Angel of Death. His partner from New Jersey, 227 pounds, Jumpin' Joe Savoni. The angel of death. And Hayes, I was going to mention, says that man is his hired assassin. The Freebirds mercenary as Sunshine and buddy Jack Roberts at ringside. Keep an eye on this new protege of the Freebirds, and he is a big, big man. And thus far in the matches that I have seen him compete in, he has not been tested. This man is a, I'll tell you, a real find as far as the Freebirds are concerned. Savoli using the impetus off the Look at this man, leapfrogging, and a drop kick. He's 6'7", 322, and he's got great agility. This man has got a lot of athletic ability, quite obvious. And he is also a very sadistic and punishing man. As I mentioned, I've seen him on a couple of occasions. And with Terry Gordy, allegedly healing up from his elbow injury, we don't know exactly how bad his arms hurt, as Buddy Roberts and Sunshine seem to be pleased with what's transpiring in the ring. A neck breaker, and Jumpin' Joe Savoli has not shown any sign of offense as of yet as the Angel of Death, I think, could have had the pinfall at that particular time. Close line. This big man is strong, he is tenacious, and he is a winner. Here on Power Pro Wrestling, 6 7 3 22, the Angel of Death, Sunshine and Buddy Jack are happy, and ladies and gentlemen, we've got six-man tag team action, and the losing team's foul. Wait a minute. Buddy Roberts is... We've seen him do it to Terry Taylor. The Freebirds said they're going to become more sadistic. They're going to throw the rule book completely out the window. The referee has called for the bell. I heard the bell ring. Apparently, the referee is going to reverse this decision because it's an automatic disqualification here in the UWF to attack your opponent after the bell. That's Buddy Roberts, who scarred the face of Terry Taylor, and that debt has yet to be repaid, trying to do the same thing on Jeff and Joe Savoldi. The Freebirds as sadistic as they have ever been. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the referee has he's, changed the he's decision. He's reversed the decision, so only the winner by disqualification. And ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back, and we will have six-man elimination tag action after this from the Universal Wrestling Federation.
with a six-man elimination tag. When a foul is lost, the loser must return to the locker room. The losing team's ballet will be painted yellow. One fall, TV time remaining. Introducing to you, the Fantastics and the Missing Link. She will be seconded by Dog Journey. The other team, ladies and gentlemen, Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert, Sting, and Rick Steiner, seconded by Missy Hyatt. Six man elimination tag action. When you are declared a loser of the fall, you must return to the locker room. The match will continue until one team has been completely eliminated. And then either that young lady, Missy Hyatt, or Dark Journey will be painted yellow. So the stakes in this one are extremely high. And I can assure you that Dark Journey would love to get her hands on Missy Hyatt just in any kind of match. But this painting situation is really gone, I think, a little bit too far. And it can be settled right here on Powell Pro Wrestling in this hour. Referee Carl Fergie surveying the action as Steen and Bobby Fulton. Football tackle. But Fulton reverses it, and the Fantastics, and the fast break attack team, what a drop kick. Oh, he gets in the lights. Tommy Rogers, I'll tell you, when he drop kicks, I think he gets into another time zone. They, they, he elevates to a different stratosphere. And when you've got DJ on the outside, the Fantastics and the Link inside, that's a tremendous six-man tag team. Not to take anything away from the contingency of Hyatt and Hot Stuff International, as Missy Hyatt is consoling Eddie Gilbert there at ringside. Rogers and Steen. Side headlock. Tommy Rogers and Sting to the finer conditioned athletes in wrestling. Gilbert attempted to grab the foot of Tommy Rogers, but that has backfired. Here comes Sting and now all in there. Looks like a battle royal. The link is banging his head. And the Fantastics are doing their thing. Now the link, it comes off that top. I ordered a call up for disqualification. Let's see what Fergie's gonna rule here. He came off the top rope. That's a disqualification. And that's going to eliminate the missing link. Elevation by the Fantastics and Hot Stuff rolling back out to the consoling of Missy Hyatt and company. But the bottom line here is that the missing link has been the first man eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, the missing link has been disqualified for jumping off the top rope. He is eliminated. You hear that from ringing after Jack Curtis. So now it's the Fantastics against Gilbert, Steen, and Steiner. And remember, this match will continue until one team has been completely eliminated. And then the losing team's valet will be painted yellow right in the middle of the ring here on Power Pro Wrestling. The link, I'm not sure if he even understands the rules, but in any event, one set of rules will stand for everyone competing. And Steiner with that right hand, I'll tell you, you look at these two guys, if they're not classic examples of the Universal Wrestling Federation, they're young, they're quick, and they're in tremendous condition. And the action, the pace quickens here. Steiner powers out his legs, but Rogers takes advantage of that offensive maneuver by Steiner to inflict some punishment on Sting and Gilbert. The charismatic Bobby Fulton taking over on Sting here. And now Gilbert and Fulton in their fist and fire. We don't have a lot of time here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, listen for my instructions as to what we're going to do as far as our time is concerned because we don't have a lot of time left, unfortunately. But we will keep it here, obviously, as long as possible. Eddie Gilbert 
and Bobby Fulton. Wait a minute, there's Hollywood John Tatum and Jack Victory. Man, they've got, they don't like either one of these teams. And they, especially Tatum and Gilbert, and Tatum and Victory and the Fantastics. And the referee, I don't think he can disqualify anybody because there's animosity with all these people. Sting on the outside, but the axe is back in the ring. Fulton and Gilbert exchanging right hands. And now Fulton. Fulton has thrown Eddie Gilbert over the top rope. Inadvertently or not, but I think Fergie has just disqualified him. And that's going to leave Tommy Rogers all alone with all of Hot Step and Wide International intact. And now they're taking advantage on Eddie Gilbert. Or Eddie Gilbert, excuse me, on Bobby Fulton. Wait a minute. Tatum and victory. Tatum and had just piled right, driven Rogers to the floor. Hit the Coliseum. Man, this thing is breaking loose all over the building. The bottom line is, I don't, there's only one man left on the Fantastic League team, and that's Rogers. Fulton's been disqualified. He's got to get to the locker room. But Rogers had just been piled driven on the floor. There he is, and the painting is still on the line. I don't, Rogers, there's no way he can compete. Tatum and Victory, and they want to rid this area of the Fantastic so they get that title shot. But late, well, I don't, this, it's all over the place. There's bodies everywhere. It looks like a wreck on, on the interstate somewhere. Now they're pushing Rogers back in the ring. Remember, Tatum and Victory, they spiked him with that pile driver. And now Steiner with a belly to belly suplex. And that's, that's just, I mean, what else can he take? Now Gilbert wants to come in. Gilbert was so anxious to come in and look at him. The damage has been done by Tatum and Victory and Steiner. And this is going to eliminate the Fantastics and the Link Dark Journey. Will, have to, will be painted yellow right here. I cannot believe what has transpired. Fantastics in the league have not lost a fall. And now Gilbert's dragging in Dark Journey. They're gonna paint Dark Journey. What an injustice here to this young lady. She doesn't deserve this and we're just about out of time. The Fantastics turn it back to the ring. Here comes Fulton. Fulton trying to save Dark Journey. Ladies and gentlemen, the league's coming to the ring. We're out of time, but we'll be back right here next week on Power Pro Wrestling.